There have been many famous Irish bands credited with shaking up the Irish folk music scene, but when it comes to sheer musicianship and influence, Planxty stands out as one of the defining groups of the folk landscape. Formed in 1972, the group's original lineup consisted of Christy Moore, Andy Irvine, Donald Lunny, and Limo Flynn. They revolutionised and popularised traditional music and have left an indelible mark which reverberates through the tunes of many of today's popular folk acts. But how did they become so influential? Christy Moore and Dona Lunny were school friends, growing up together in a town called Newbridge, County Kildare, about 60 kilometres from Dublin. Before the formation of Planxty, Lunny, who came to prominence with the group Emmett Spiceland, had been playing with Andy Irvine from the group Sweeney's Men. Andy had returned from Eastern Europe, where he had developed his unique musical style. In the meantime, Piper Limo Flynn had become well known in traditional music circles. In 1971, the group came together to play on Christy Moore's second album, Prosperous. In January of the following year, the four officially became Planksty. Their first album, generally known as the Black Album for its cover, is a folk tour de force, with Lunny and Irvine using the bazooki and mandolin to create colourful counterpoint melodies, controversial to some purists at the time, as up until then, Irish music had been played in unison. The group mixed ballads sung predominantly by Irvine and Moore, with loud reels, jigs, slip jigs and O'Carolan tunes played on the yellow pipes by Limo Flynn, often to the pulsating sound of Moore's Bearon. The group toured extensively, gaining popularity across Ireland and further afield across the UK and Europe. The band had many lineup changes throughout the years, with members including Paul Brady, Johnny Moynihan, Bill Whelan of Riverdance fame, Matt Malloy as well as many others. After music promoter Leagues O'Toole made an acclaimed documentary on the band for the TV show No Disco, the original lineup reunited in 2004 for a number of gigs in Vicar Street and the Point Depot in Dublin. Since then, the lineup has not played publicly. However, in 2016, they launched Between the Reels and Jigs, a retrospective, an album and DVD of live performances. Members of the group have also played together under the guise of LAPD and Usher's Island. Anyone with a love for folk music could do worse than buy the band's latest collection. Planksty, you truly are a bunch of legends. <laughs>